I think a lot of us would like to have wisdom. We would like to be known as a wise person. In Proverbs 19 and verse 20, it gives us a way to be wise. The writer of the Proverbs says, listen to counsel and accept discipline that you may be wise the rest of your days, or literally that you may be wise at the latter end of your days. And so first of all, I think we see that wisdom is a process that we don't flip a switch and automatically become wise, but we become wise as we listen to counsel and accept discipline. So listen, listening to counsel, I think that comes first of all from God's word. It comes from having conversations with wise, mature people who aren't just going to agree with us, but who are going to maybe participate in the latter half of that phrase, which is accept discipline. Now, I don't think this means uh, discipline in the sense of disciplining a child, like, you know, you, you need to sit in timeout for a few minutes, um, but it's discipline in terms of training, in terms of responding to correction, in terms of evaluating when somebody offers criticism instead of just having a knee-jerk reaction that says, that's not true of me. So God gives us a path to wisdom. That is that we listen to counsel, first from his word, from his people, and that we accept discipline, that we cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit as he corrects us, sometimes using other people, as he trains us, um, and, and in taking that time to submit to him as we evaluate the things that are said to us so that we can make corrections along our path. I think that's the way that we are wise. Let's think about that today and evaluate ourselves and say, am I willing to listen to counsel or do I know everything that's right? Am I willing to accept correction or do I just automatically get defensive? And then let's ask the Holy Spirit that we would cooperate with him in this process of becoming wise.